video on Life on the Rock from New Island. So for this week's video, we'll be going to harvest our taros so we could um, take them for the show day tomorrow. So, yeah. On their way to the plantation, we are taro harvest that um, the plantation that I showed you in the beginning of the year that was burnt. So those are the towels that we'll be harvesting today. See what we will get out of it, if anything. Now, that's us. So we got the people at the back. We have Fofo here, Omi, Fahin, and then we got Hannah sitting down. <laughs> there we go, fellas. So we finally made it here to the bush to harvest our Taros and it is 3 p.m. Okay, so finally as you can see most of these taros now have wilted it has gone beyond the harvest date that we should have been harvesting them uh, most of them have died now, so we're not going to get a lot of them like how we were hoping. So we will just get what, we're, what we have. Even if it means we only have like two or three, oh uh, well. But that's it. So guys, if you can remember, I think it was our first taro harvesting video. I was with the same coho that we used back then. And it's just over two years since we did that first uh, taro harvest video we did. It was in uh, September 2021 for Luffy North Show Day. And surprisingly enough, that video was the one that has been the most viewed, the most commented by a lot of people. And funny also because I never thought that people would show any interest in bushwork, taros, harvesting and all of that stuff. And now I know that there's a lot of interest out there for this type of content. And at that time, we were just starting our channel too. I think there was about, about two or three months into our uh, channel at the time when I first did that. It's kind of interesting now to see that we have put out a lot more videos. And two years, just over two years, that we will be doing a similar harvest. But our titles this time is not as big or plentiful like that time we did plant it many but uh, that's just how it goes that's what taro farming is all about so i'm just still deciding to see which will be our first taro to pull out so i'm gonna just go for this taro here manua oh thank you well oh, everything is tight so I'm going to loosen it with my coho. <clears throat> See? See how it's shaking? Yeah, shake it, shake it. That's what you want. But you don't want to like thing it too early. You don't want your coho to rip the taro. I think that's pretty good. I think that's loose. Loose enough. In the hoolies. You can see the tower here is pretty much dying. But this one's way better than all the other ones. Normally, if it's really, really good, these towers will still be growing. Like some of the towers you see in my other videos. <laughs> Oops. So if it's still tight, you just use your coho, you move with your leg, shake it, shake it, shake it, and you pull. There we go.
They say our first taro from this lot. Could be better. If you can remember, these were the taros that got burnt. And then they grow again. I don't know what it would be like if they never got burnt. It might improve. The growth would be a bit better. Who knows? But, yep, first one down. Whew. What have we got here, Hannah? A dead grasshopper. So what? It's a dead grasshopper. Do you like that? <laughs> 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 Did you drop it? It fell. Hold on. Let me get it. I thought you said it's dead. It's dead. It just fell off. Then you can pick it up with your own hands. No, it's dead. Oh, dead. Whoosh. Can you go pick it up put it on the side of your yeah. face? You found it too. You found it turning, Hannah. So this is the second one now. Same process. <laughs> Loosen them that. Just a little bit pop with the end. Even the hoolies are small. What are we on? Uh -huh. In the way, we call this taro, taro plastic. As it's, look at the leaf. It's shiny, kind of like plastic. And this is a new, new taro. Uh, yeah, it's a new species that just has been introduced to new way. I don't think it's 10 years old. It's been here. No, that was a thing. Dang, that one's still a bit tight. Don't break it. Oh, hey, don't hit me. Make sure I don't break it. I'll put it in for
Here it is. Not that big. Oh yeah, we waste time. Waste time that one I'd say. Mike. No. I was said just a few, but few already. <coughs> Next. I like this taro. Hard wearing. Lasts a long time in the soil. I hope for some of those towers, but No good. There's a lot of rain, so I was expecting to see these towers grow really well, but I don't know what it is. That's just how it is with taro farming. You win some, you lose some. It's good if we have like a soil testing facilities over here so they can test the soil and tell you what's lacking in it. But in some areas, just some spots just across, not even 50 meters from here, where some of the big towers are growing, they were growing really, really well. Didn't really do much or anything different. The only thing different with these ones is that they got burned at about six weeks old, and they have to regrow again. So that might have had an effect on them, on the growth. As you can see, it's a big taro top when I planted it. And then that's about it. All that you wrote, like they say. Yeah, I know. Look at that. Nothing to sing or dance about.
Yeah, it's all dying. No goods. This tower here is weird tower. Just the body will be in one place and the hoolies can grow very far from it. Wait. Disappointing, disappointing harvest. I was expecting more, but then again, shouldn't be too disappointed. Better than nothing, I guess. At least we got taros. <coughs> taros were growing. We get taro to eat. We'll try again next year. I mean, we'll try again for next year. See, a lot of them dying already. Oh yeah, we. Hey, <sighs> Another one. They're all about the same size, roughly. Hey, we be for fun. Here we have a do here. Bigger than your head, Paul. Oh. Oh. This is the hideous. Oh, what is the holy gump? I think that is it for our harvesting for today. There's still some more left, but as you can see, they're all pretty much the same size. So I think it's pointless for me to pull all of them out, seeing the size that they have. Just leave them there, and then we'll just eat them slowly for our, for our meals. Have them for our dinner, breakfast, lunch, Sunday lunches. But at least we have taro to eat. Not that, not not at the level that I would like to take to the show day. So I think we'll call it that. We'll call it that for now, and we're gonna go home and carry on with your tenting this evening. It's going up to four o'clock in the afternoon, and we still have about six or seven tents to put up. Mostly the big size tents and some smaller ones. We started already yesterday. So guys, thank you for tuning in from the rock new island and hopefully we'll have a better harvest next time around for next year and years to come but until then take care hey and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to our channel 
just to help us out here on this little island. Until next time, take care, everybody. See you around. Peace. So this is what we got from their bush. We ended up bringing it to the show day, even though we, I wasn't going to do that.